hi guys good morning welcome back to our channel my name is pearl and this is gracie um gracie just woke up a while ago and i'm trying to feed her some avocado but sometimes she eats it sometimes she doesn't I, and i really want her to have this healthy fat so i guess she's had enough she had a good bit so guys i really do apologize for taking so long to upload a long video so many things are happening so many things have been happening and it's just the time you guys but i always remember and what i've been trying to do is to just do a little short so you guys know some of the things that's been going on i want to thank all of my subscribers for subscribing and i want to thank you guys for watching our videos and for our new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Um, it's been a journey, you guys. It is a journey. It continues and we are going. So I have some things written here. So when you see me looking down, I'm just looking at the paper so I don't forget what I want to talk to you guys about. I will try to upload videos more often. Gracie got the rhinovirus. She, we stayed home with her two days. On the third day of Gracie getting sick. I saw Gracie getting worse. Instead of improving, I saw Gracie getting worse because whenever she's sick, by the third, fourth day, she's already bouncing back. During her sickness, the third day, I saw that Gracie's oxygen level was going down and I said to my husband, we, we have to take her in. We have to take her to the hospital. And we took her to the hospital and they gave her Ventolin and they did what they had to do and Gracie was admitted because she needed oxygen support. So she stayed in the hospital for three nights and then we came home. One thing I have to tell you guys, I hate the rhinovirus. They did a swab, they tested her for many different viruses and the only virus she was positive for was the, vi was the rhinovirus. I hate the rhinovirus, I'm not lying to tell you. This is the second time Gracie has been hospitalized with rhinovirus. The third time she ended up in the ICU. This time, thank God, thank God she did not end up in the ICU. Um, she was um, admitted to general pediatrics and she stayed there for three nights. The fourth day, we were discharged. We came home, she was still sick. Not that she wasn't sick, she was still sick, but she could. we could manage at home, which was great because the longer you stay in hospital, many things can happen during your stay in the hospital. So I was okay with her coming home um also coming home um we had applied for school for gracie all of these things to be honest with you i had already recorded videos about these things i was just not able to um edit and upload but we had applied for a school for gracie and the school that i really wanted gracie to go to i did not get that school but we got another school for Gracie. I was very scared, but we got another school for Gracie. I went to visit, my husband and I, we went to visit the school with Grace. And when I got there, I, when I reached by the school, I'm like, oh no. I felt so disappointed, you guys, so disappointed. And I sat there and I said, oh no, no. Then I turned to Grace, I said, Gracie, this is the school. Would you like to go to school here? And she was like, I was like, are you sure, Gracie? She was like, I said, okay, let's go. We went in, we reached it early, but we went in and we had a tour. You guys, God is so amazing. We did the tour. When we did the tour, I fell in love with the school. I fell in love with the staff and everything is just awesome. Gracie got an awesome school. Gracie is going to a very, very, very good school. It's an amazing school. And Gracie has been going to school now for two weeks. And something that changed during that time. I am trying to give you a summary of these past few weeks, months. And something that happened during that time. Even before Gracie went to school, we were already doing behavioral therapy with Grace. And what was happening is she used to... She was hitting herself, but she, it wasn't very aggressive. It wasn't something aggressive. It wasn't something to be worried about. It, you know, she was doing that. But then she started to 
bang her head. She started to bang her head. If she was on the floor, she would bang her head on the floor. It doesn't matter where. She would just bang her head. And before, she used to slap her hand with her, her head with her hand. But then that turned into fist. I was really worried about that because I did not want Gracie to hurt herself. I spoke to her social worker. You guys, I speak fast. I apologize. I am learning to speak very slowly. But I spoke to her social worker and she told me I should reach out to urgent response. Um, they would try to see if I can get in for Gracie to get behavioral therapy. And I did that and they responded and they hook us up with a wonderful, wonderful team. And I will not mention the names of the therapists because they did not give me permission to use their names. I didn't ask either. And a guy came in, really wonderful guy. Um, I have my issues, you guys. Will I talk to you guys in another video? I'm serious. I'm going to tell you guys because there are a lot of us who are suffering out there in secret and we just don't talk about our trauma but i will definitely be talking about my trauma i reached to a place where i'm okay with speaking out loud and just telling people my story so definitely i will be doing that but he came in and he was such a gentleman he was he made me feel really really comfortable and he worked really really well with grace and showed me the different strategies to use when gracie is doing that and it was working so well you guys the thing is that i believe the key is when you start seeing behavioral issues don't hide it don't feel bad try to get help as soon as possible and the reason for that the earlier they get the therapy the earlier you try to do that the better it is and the faster you will get results. When he came in, her behavior diminished significantly. I was able, before, I was not able to leave Grace here and go anywhere. I could not go to the bathroom. I had to stay here with Grace or run to the bathroom, sit. I, ch I even tried a chair, put a chair in the bathroom and put Gracie on the chair. Gracie would not stay. Gracie would be hitting herself and we have tiles in the bathroom and I was so afraid of Gracie falling because multiple times I had to quickly hold the chair. So what I would do, I would just sit down and have Gracie on me. Whatever I was doing, I had Gracie on me. And yeah, and he came in and he helped. He helped us a lot. He showed me what to do and it was working amazingly. Then Gracie started getting sick. I did not know Gracie was getting sick, but what I saw was the behavior, her behavior changed and she started to heal herself again. Not much of the head banging, but of the slapping and punching herself. And uh, he asked me, how is it going? Hey Pearl, how is it going? And I was like, you know what? It's not going well. You know, she is really going back to her old ways and things are really escalating and he said to me, okay, we had an appointment for him to come in, but Gracie got sick and we had to take her into the hospital and we didn't have time for him to come in. But after he came in, after Gracie came home and she was well enough to start again, and he told me two things have changed. Gracie got sick and went to the hospital and Gracie had to go to school. So, you know, these are things that can call trigger some kind of behavioral issues. And we started working with Gracie and it did not take long for Gracie to get back to not hitting herself the way she used to. It has diminished a lot. And I tell you a lot, look, she's here right now and you're not seeing her hand going and hitting herself. And I'm really grateful to Urgent Response. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are watching this, thank you guys very much. Um, the therapists, they are awesome and they know what they're doing and they... They made it easy for me thank you guys and yeah so even in school they were telling me she was hitting herself a lot and i just yesterday i asked one of the people who's working with her how is she was she hitting herself a lot during the day and she told me no so this is good i am happy grace is doing well now you guys still pray for her please because we always need prayer and yeah let's see what else i'm missing Oh, you guys, 
please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment in the comment section below share with me what you guys are going through even if your child might not have autism or trisomy 18 you know there are trisomy 21 13 12 9 8 there are all different trisomies let us talk about what we are going through i know trisomy 13 is it's very difficult for people to get the, the care and assistance they need for their child trisomy 21 is very hard to but you get more for trisomy 21 and please don't get me wrong i'm not saying you're not getting it i'm just saying it's a bit easier for you guys but i know it's difficult for you guys as well we are not where we ought to be yet but by the grace of god let's all come together and let us fight for our children let us advocate for our children let us be a community a voice for our children because they need that you understand they need that so comment in the comment section below tell me what you guys are going through if you are okay with that tell me what your child have if if you are okay with that you know let's dialogue together let's talk let's let's just talk it's, it's, it's a community let's talk okay and my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing i appreciate you guys i love all of you all of my subscribers i love you guys and i thank you guys help us to bring awareness not just what my daughter has but other kids let us bring awareness let us try to come together as a community i think that trisomy 18 is not getting enough Oh, we are not putting enough awareness out there about trisomy 18. I think, uh, to me, I want to talk about trisomy 18. I want to tell the world that children with trisomy 18, they live longer. They are able to do stuff. They are compatible with life. I just want people to know that. And I just want to encourage people who are struggling. I remember my early days. Lord, was it hard? It was very hard. But I am so happy with the decision that I made, the decision that my husband made to keep her. You guys, let's just come together and advocate for our babies. They are worth it. Look, look, look at this girl. Her face is still dirty with avocado. Look, look at this. Look at this girl. Look at her. Gracie, you want to wave hi? You want to wave hi? No, baby. This child has a mind of her own. <laughs> I love her. And I'm happy I have grace, honestly. Having grace, I have changed a lot. She is a blessing to me and my family. I always tell people that grace is my blessing. And people sometimes look at her as a blessing. People think that maybe a burden. No, she's not a burden. She is my blessing. She has changed me. She brings joy to my life. Is it easy? No. Taking care of her, is it easy? No. But I'm learning every day. I'm growing every day. I'm loving more and more every day. I'm learning to be very patient. I am learning to be humble. I am blessed. I am truly blessed to be her mother. So guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys, and hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Bye.